Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride back to my channel for a day in the life of me vlog now i don't know why i've just suddenly had this little bit of an idea there's quite a lot going on today sorry my spaniel is going nuts nala what are you doing nala you got a sock i knew you'd be up to something she's got a sock nice smelly christopher sock nice <laughs> i knew she was up to something she's just been in the paddling pool and it is not very nice weather and the water in there has been out in the rain so it's not the nicest of water and she's just come straight in absolutely white oi this is like the wrong room for you and you're getting my walls wet right out nala out i just came in here actually just went to the toilet and then no oh, she's so naughty so naughty <laughs> And I just wanted to come in and check out my ceiling because I painted the ceiling. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have done five coats of paint in this room. Actually, probably so I'm quite tinny in here because this is going to turn into my office and I am dying to get it done now. So I did a coat quite late last night um, on the ceiling. Sorry, as you can tell, I'm looking up. I don't think the camera is going to show how patchy it actually is, but it's really patchy. I was saying to Chris last night, I was like, how do you know where you've been? Um, and I wasn't, I am like a painter's worst nightmare. Yeah. Because I wasn't careful when I was painting the room, the walls, and I feel like I should have done the ceiling before I'd done the walls. But hey ho, it is what it is, and it's done. Um, obviously I am working from home, just having a little bit of a break. Oh my goodness. There we go, all the water on the floor. I have got lots planned today, ending with some show jumping over at Cornwall Trek. And I was thinking, am I going to vlog that? But I did just a pure show jumping vlog the other day, not that long ago. And I thought, why not do a bit of a day in the life? Because it's going to be quite a full on day. So I've got obviously a full days of work to do. This dog is absolutely nuts. I have not started this at the right time. I've got that. It is, it's now 10 to 11. I can't actually believe the time of it. Um, I've got an exciting parcel arriving following on from Tina and I's new adventure that we tried at the weekend. I don't know. I've been a little bit ambitious. So more on that when that arrives. Um, I want to do another coat of paint. I want to go for a run. I need to school Spritey and go show jumping. So a lot in my day, which seems to be all days at the moment. Every day seems to be absolutely jam packed. So I thought I would bring you guys along just for a bit of a spontaneous day in the life of me. I am in my very dirty minging dressing gown, but I, I am dressed and I've had breakfast before nine o'clock, which is always my goal. And I have managed to do that, but uh, yeah. I was a bit chilly still, so yeah, waiting for the sun to appear, but I don't think it's going to. It's been uh, on and off raining all morning, so yeah, not the nicest of days. So I'm going to crack on, carry on working um, until lunchtime, do a bit of vlog editing and possibly run. Yeah, I need to kind of work my day out, to be honest with you, but yeah, hope you enjoy following me for the day. I've just popped a little bit of mascara on to try and make myself. I've stopped work for lunch. I need to get the vlog finished. I've just got a tiny little bit, a couple of voiceovers to do on my dressage and my show jumping and get that done. And that can export whilst I then do a bit of a, I, th I don't think I've got time. I just don't have enough time to do everything, but I think I'm going to have to have a bit of a longer lunch and then work on later before going to the ponies. I need to sort of work times out. <laughs> just, there is not enough time in the day. But anyways, something has just arrived. As I mentioned earlier, the parcel has arrived and I have been ambitious. So when we went surfing on Saturday, I wore a Junior 12 and I was like, it fitted me. It wasn't tight, but I am aware that it probably stretched a little bit being a higher suit. Well, I saw one that I liked and they only had a Junior 12 and I was borderline on the measurements. A ladies, smallest ladies, I was actually too short and my hips was about six centimetres narrower than what the minimum requirement was. So I do definitely need a Junior, but I think a 14 Junior would have been better, but I would have had to wait like seven to 10 working days and me being me, all impatient, 
couldn't be bothered to wait that long. So let's get it out and let's see if it fits. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fairly confident that that is actually going to fit. I hope, I really hope. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hot now that I've gotten into it. But it fits. It does fit, it's a little bit tight around my neck, but I think you want it like that. And I think I'm probably just not used to, oh, I'm used to a stock but I'm probably just not used to it being so tight, but it needs to be tight. The thing that I was told to do is make sure that you're able to paddle, which I can do. Um, oh, I might have to just try my little jump up. You know, yeah. the old, uh, I don't want to get something on the floor, but you know, like that. And... <sighs> yeah! And I, yeah, the legs are absolutely fine. I look like a proper little surfer dude, don't I? With my uh, wavy curly hair. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. It's it's good on. It's a good length actually. It's fitted me really, really well. Um, it's just it just feels very, very tight, which is what a wetsuit is supposed to be, I suppose. So that's all good, and I can do the movement as you've just seen. Uh, I was recommended to go for a four-three, so four on the body, three on the arms and the legs by Adam and Kerr, so thank you very much. They are pro surfers, they uh, head out all the time. Even in the absolute tipping down rain on Monday night, they were out surfing, which, yeah, I don't know what it'd be like in the rain, but I am so keen. Now I've got this, this is something that's just gonna last me for years, so I've spent a little bit extra money. Um, obviously I've saved on the vat because it is a child's. But yeah, I'm really pleased. I was really worried, but I actually think maybe at 14 might have been a little bit big. Um, so yeah, I am over the moon and I love the pattern. Oh, I was also um, told to go for a chest strap, not a back strap, um, like the one that you pull up, which is what I had on the higher, which I'll be honest, I don't, don't actually know the reasoning behind that. Um, oh no, the guy did tell me actually that you're less likely to get water down your back or something. So, um, and I did notice that. I said to Tina, I feel like I've got a cold spine. It's Roxy, for anybody who wants to know. Um, but they are very hard sought after at the moment. Everybody seems to be wanting, not just going surfing, but paddle boarding and things like that. So I am pretty chuffed. But I have managed to find it. And I love it. I really love it. It's like a bit snazzy, but quite tame as well. I don't want to look like I'm thinking I'm, you know, something that I am most definitely not. <laughs> Anyways, right, time, I've got this on. Could try and get it off. But I'm getting quite hot, actually. I'm planning on going surfing. t ball has on Monday, so yeah, let's get back in that sea when I've got time. I'm gonna have to admit defeat on one thing already, um, that the vlog that I wanted to be out today, which is Chillington, is gonna have to be out tomorrow. Because I just can't do it, I just can't do it all. I've been ages on my lunch break trying on the wetsuit. I have to admit, I got a little bit claustrophobic trying to get it off. I was like, I'm really hot. I think it's easier when it's wet. Well, that's what Tina's just said to me. So I'm hoping that it is easier when it's wet <laughs> to get off and I need to get back on. I've got so much work to do. We've got a massive project at the moment. So I have got leftover HelloFresh from last night. So I'm just gonna pop them in the oven, fry my rice. Um, it's like a burrito thing, which is quite yummy. I obviously haven't worked out either, so I'm taking the pressure off. The vlog will be out tomorrow. Um, I'm going to work for a couple of hours. I don't need to leave with Lola until half past seven, I've worked out. So I should have a few hours if I work till half past four to do ceiling, ride sprite and all that. But it's not enough time to get, and work out, um, it's not enough time to get the vlog edited. I ramble on for like 14 minutes on the debrief in the car on the way home. It's my own fault, a bit like I'm probably doing right now, rambling. So yeah, phone down, lunch cook, get on with some work. <laughs>
paint everywhere. Um, I did take this off, thankfully. Um, but I have got time. I've absolutely smashed out the ceiling. Probably still left patches missing. Um, let's just lock that door in it. Nana's gone off with Chris because Chris has gone to do a light at my mummy's. And uh, I'm going to whip out for a quick run. Now, I'm not going to be able to probably run as far as what I wanted. Um, definitely isn't going to be 10k, that is for sure. But... I always keep making excuses for running and stuff at the moment. So we are going just to go for a nice little run. I think probably I'm going to do my uh, 5k loop that I did the other day. It was exactly 5k when I got back here. It's quite hilly, so that will be good. Then we'll see what sort of time I have got to get over and ride Spritey. Um, I have a feeling Miss Layla's going to be absolutely filthy. Thankful for uh, NAF Shine On Spray. That will be my best friend later to make her all sparkling. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I don't think it'll take me long to get her light ready and to get over there. It'll only take about 20 minutes to get there, especially going later. Um, but I'm pleased that I smashed out the... Uh, ceiling I do think I'm going to still need where I've been a very messy painter around with the walls there is a lot of paint on there and I think I'm going to uh yeah need to do another coat this is the new acrylite summer acrylite um it's thinner material tighter knit so it's like a lot tighter around my head um and the best thing, and this is why I like running in it. I've only ran in it once, but it was fab. Um, it's got like sweat wickering material inside. So it's absolutely perfect. Um, it literally, I didn't have any sweat coming down my head when I ran in it last time. Actually doing the same loop I'm about to do now. Um, headphones in. I still haven't, I run sometimes in Chris's AirPods and my ears are like really tiny. Um, I know you can get different, a put, like different things to go on the end of them but I feel like it's this one it's this ear like to be fair this only just stays in if it's wet I've got no hope um but this also helps keep them in because I cannot stand running and hearing myself dying <laughs> um but yeah let's get out and go for a run I genuinely feel sick oh it's quite nice in the shade I'm gonna be honest guys that was one of the hardest runs I've done recently. I don't know why I did the exact same run last week. And I came back and I said, Chris, I feel, re feel really good. I think it actually just proves, because I've had a couple of really bad night's sleeps, and I've been feeling a bit meh all, all week. Whether it's something to do with my cycle, I don't know. I know that um, Nikki T often says about that. And maybe it's that. Lips will dry from breathing. <sighs> But that was hard. Oh. Right, no rest for the wicked. Let's go over to see ponies. And just to show how well this works, I don't have to move it at all when running, but you can see there, it has absorbed all my sweat. So that is not on my forehead and feeling horrible and dripping down. It's all in that, but um, yeah. Does now need obviously a wash, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be a very smelly equalite. Doing well for time, Miss Lola. Thankfully, wasn't that dirty, but it's come up very good anyway. She's looking super shiny, so she's done. Everything is in the car, packed, and I thought I'd just uh, whip in. But it looks like Mum's cleaning the floor. Mummy D's been having something done this week. It's not finished. I know. Ooh. Ooh, different again to what I saw yesterday. Dun, dun, dun. Let's flip you around. Let's actually appreciate it. It's not finished, as Mum's just said, yeah, but it's I'm looking not, good. Oh, your cooker. Have the cup, cupboards there. And then... How gorgeous. Got your light back on? Hey! No lampshade, but the light's there. Chris has just been over to do that. Oh, you must be chuffed. Yeah. So chuffed. Nice big Belfast sink. Need a new plastic thingy in there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> new cooker. It's nice. He's coming back tomorrow. To Again. Yeah. Been there all week, but. <gasps> and there's doors on the washing, washing machine. machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
you have to look out on Instagram and I'll show you guys because this is only a day in the life of vlog, so <laughs> I can't uh, You're show you tomorrow. Concrete, You're not leaving the concrete. Oh, I quite like that effect. It's going to be painted <laughs> and then just tiles around the around the cooker yeah very nice i'm totally hoping that i am in the camera as you can see sprite thinks that we've come up here for a picnic time is quite clipped so we're going to just do a very quick 15 minute schooling the ground at the minute because we've had so much rain is absolutely perfect for her so i have been doing a bit more schooling recently now that like i say it's gotten a lot softer and she's been feeling better and better each time so just doing small, short sessions is really good for her and just keeps her supple and everything. It's just, I do find, even though she is an older mare, I find schooling is really beneficial. So, And we've got a little audience of the cows. Let's go, Paddy Boo. They were just doing the course walk so i have just headed down and walked the course 12 fences it's a long old way around um i won't be going for any jump off times as we all know my last round wasn't the best so i am just coming here for nice confidence and trying to still nail my warm-up so i'm going to be making the most of the full allocated time of my warm-up which is at 8 20 or 8 22 i think so i have got 20 minutes until i need to be on miss lola is already tacked up so it's just to get myself changed so yeah not too bad i can't believe i turned up bang on when they were doing it i couldn't have been more boom perfect it is a very busy evening lots of people around which is lovely to see and there's no r-a-i-n at the moment but obviously i don't want to uh, say that too loudly just want to add on to the end of that that i am actually feeling really quite nervous about this round considering what happened last time at chillington like i say there's 12 fences there's a long way round I just messaged Chris, which is not right. It's not what I should be saying. Don't jump for a clear, jump every fence. It's one four strides, fence two. Then fence three to four is another four strides. One stride double, which we've got to jump twice. But I have got to admit, I am feeling really nervous for something that is meant to just be like local fun riding club evening show. I am feeling nervous, but I'm determined to get on and give us both some confidence. I entered just the 90s so that I only came out here and went straight in at the height that we sort of jump. I'm now wondering if I should have done 80, but it was fine. It's fine. It's going to be all fine and we're going to get loads of confidence.
Whoop, whoop. <gasps> buzzing, buzzing, buzzing! Oh my goodness. As I mentioned, I was pretty nervous before that. Thank you, Jenny, for putting up a cross pole for me and everything. I think I would have liked to have jumped the cross pole more than what I did. Oh, are you itching? Um, but it's okay. Learn that for another time. Um, I don't know. My warm-up that I was obviously doing seemed to take longer. 360? My warm-up before seemed to take longer than what I was anticipating. Um, so I need to obviously like bear that in mind. But yeah, just over the moon, over the moon. We jumped a 12 course fence with two doubles and we kept them all up. Do we? Yeah. Oh, you kept them all up. She helped me out a couple of times and I felt like I really, really rode her. I was knackered when I came out of it. Um, and that's how you need to be. It needs to be hard work for what? 70 seconds, 60 seconds? Yeah, probably more like, probably more like 90 seconds, but yeah. A show jump round. <laughs> you want your tea? Is it tea time? Over, over the moon. And I'm also a little bit buzzing that I've actually managed, come on, let's pop you in here. I've managed to get everything I needed done today. I've done the ceiling, I've been for a run, I didn't go for as far a run, but at least I did go out. Um, and I looked at my time as well, 5.02 for a kilometre on average. So yeah, buzzing about that. That was really good. Um, let's see your boots. And yeah, Mummy D came out and watched and she was pleased. So that's always a bonus. And yeah, just set out exactly what we wanted, but it does just prove that it is a lot to do with me. Um, so I'm sure I've got kept up with Nikki tomorrow or friday or early next week so we can definitely get into sort of talking about that and i've just got to make sure that i then do that we will be getting out and trying to do some more show jumping i need to have a little look at what's going on at cold rain i'm very tempted for saturday i see they've got dressage on and need to get an entry in tonight actually maybe i haven't done everything that i needed to do today i need to get an entry in and i think i'm tempted to go give an elementary test to go what do you think think we can do it I just, I fancy doing it. Fancy a bit of a challenge. Um, and they've also got a BE test, so maybe we'll do an elementary and then we'll do a BE 100 test afterwards. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. If you'd like it vlogged. Oh no, <laughs> this won't be out before Saturday. Sorry guys, I am so slow at getting vlogs out at the moment. It's ridiculous. Um, as you can tell, because quite a lot of the time I'm like finishing at this time and then to go home and then... A couple nights this week, I've been obviously editing the Chillington vlog and I've literally been there like that. And Chris going, you're going to fall asleep, you're going to roll over and that Mac's going to go flying. I'm like, yes, I know. So uh, I pop it down. But yeah, I need a good night's sleep tonight and I feel like I will now that we've had a good round and I've done a run. Yeah. 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 So we get your tea? Oh, your tea. Itchy, itchy. I hope you guys have enjoyed following me for a spontaneous day in the life of me vlog. Um, yeah, jam-packed. Um, my days, I wouldn't say are usually as jam-packed as that, but they are very often quite busy.
yeah which you probably can tell when uh, if you follow me on instagram um if you don't i shall put my tag there for you now um but yeah if you have enjoyed it don't forget give it a thumbs up cheeky comment and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already and then you will be notified when i get my vlogs out eventually also want to say a huge thank you as always to cornwall trek i do believe that was the last summer series of dressage or show jumping which is a bit sad and actually that i'm getting home and it's dark it's like july already it's crazy time is absolutely flying by mum has just been out and told me that it is one all currently in the england game which i have to admit i, I I, obviously I wouldn't have known this but I didn't know that England would be playing tonight when I uh, entered the dress, uh, entered the show jumping so yeah but I know that the final is on Sunday so come on England it is coming home yeah is it going to be an England final England Italy final anyways let's grab the ponies their feed buckets give them their tea I can unhitch oh mum's put a bit of a mouldy pear in there for for Spritey funny how it's in Spritey's bowl <laughs> um I got a carrot for you Later. we can have a carrot so yeah i'm gonna get on get their ponies their dinner and i will see you guys all very very soon thanks for watching guys bye